Hi everybody, here's another landscape drawing with some overhanging branches in the foreground and some trees and clouds in the back. In one of my previous videos I said I wanted to talk about drawing branches but I lost a part of the footage which was the most relevant so I decided to do another one. So I'm going to show you how I did this one. Um. I'm starting with a, a real sketch. I just made a few lines here to suggest where the branches will be. And I decided to use a, an ordinary pencil to lay down some value uh, just so that it isn't completely white. So I spread that around with a Q-tip and now I'm drawing the tree on the left and uh, this long bough with its branches. It's going to have many branches and, it, and they will stretch across the paper. So <clears throat> uh, there are a couple of things you need to remember when drawing branches. First uh, you need to try to make them look organic by making them sort of flow and grow uh, naturally. You have to try to make them look twisted and gnarly and uh, you can leave a few of these knots here and there where a branch fell off maybe. So that's the first thing. The other thing is that you need to remember that they taper. They are wider near the base and then as they grow further they become thinner and thinner. And they overlap here and there. So as long as you uh, remember these couple of things you will be able to draw realistic branches. Just try to make them twisted and organic and make sure that they taper. <clears throat> so now I'm starting to draw the trunk on the left and it's going to be darker. I'm already uh, trying to draw some texture on the tree Because, um, because I'm using a soft charcoal pencil and once I start blending some of that texture will still be visible, some of those lines will still be visible. I'm trying to make it look like a tree bark as much as possible, but in this initial stage it never looks like much. When I start blending, and I'm going to use a brush for that, when I start blending <coughs> it becomes softer, more realistic, but because I'm using a brush I will still have some of those lines and some of that texture left. And you can see that now it looks a lot more realistic. Now I'm moving on to the branches. And I sort of have to keep in mind where the light source is because the light is generally coming from above so they will tend to be darker uh, on the lower side, lower side and a little bit lighter on the upper side and also the side that is facing us is going to be darker. So now I'm using a tortillion to blend that a little bit more and to clean up some of these edges and refine the shapes of those branches. A useful tool of course is this kneaded eraser which I'm using to clean up the edge of the tree and the branches. You need to form it into a blade like this. It needs to be sharp and that way we can uh, erase 
very precise lines and you can see how much better this looks because we need to have clean edges. I mean these branches they are rough and gnarly but they do have clean edges. So a little bit more work with a pencil eraser to add a little more texture and draw a few highlights on that tree. And now I'm using a brush to do the same thing with the branches that I did with the trunk. Like I said, uh, I also try to create some texture on them as well, but then when I move in with a brush, I soften it and blend it out, fill it out, but some of these lines still remain visible. I'm drawing smaller and smaller branches and twigs. Now I'm going to draw a few twigs here. <coughs> and add some foliage. Basically I draw some tiny twigs and I start adding the leaves with a soft charcoal pencil. But because I want them to look more dense I can work on them a little bit with a tortillion. And uh, keep in mind that there is a contrast in value between the branch here and the trees in the back. So I raise that a little bit to have that contrast. Just adding a few more twigs here and there and a bit more leaves. There's going to be plenty of that. <clears throat> Again cleaning up this edge between the branch and the leaves. I can also occasionally use a colored pencil to draw, to draw some of the thinnest and smallest twigs because uh, the colored pencil is a lot more precise and allows me to draw cleaner and thinner lines which is what I'm doing now again with the colored pencil and now I'm uh, adding some more leaves you can also add some of these twigs that don't have leaves on them that's also a nice touch so not all of them have to be covered with foliage <coughs> That way it will look more realistic. Now at this point, uh, again, I grabbed a tortillion and started uh, drawing some of the leaves using the charcoal that was on the tortillion and also blending the existing uh, leaves that I drew with the charcoal pencil. The reason why I'm doing that is because I felt that the top texture was kind of a little bit too rough and didn't really look like leaves so I decided to blend a little bit uh, with a tortillion and try to make it a little more realistic because some parts of it were, were a little bit too dark and I also wanted some of these lighter leaves lighter areas and I want them wanted them to appear a little more dense So I'm doing that all over this area. And I'm going to be doing the same thing uh, on the right as well. But you can see that these branches that I've done so far are already starting to look pretty realistic and they have a nice texture. 
and uh, thanks to the way that I shaded them they appear to have volume and shape now I'm using the broad side of my charcoal pencil to lay down some of these irregular strokes and then I'm doing the same thing that I did previously with the tutilian to try to draw some leaves and one of the uh, things that you can do which is also nice is to draw some of these leaves that appear detached from the, less, uh, from the rest of the cluster this makes it look even more realistic that's because uh, you can't see all of these tiny twigs so when you draw some of these leaves that seem to be hanging detached from the cluster that the eye completes the image you don't necessarily have to draw every single twig that's what I mean I'm gonna add a few more branches here <clears throat> a little more foliage there and now I'm working on this portion of the bow to the right I need to draw a few more branches and then refine their appearance and shape as well now I just want to point a few things here this is interesting here I'm trying to make it look like some of these branches are in front of the others a lot of them are overlapping here so you can see what I'm doing when you draw over a branch uh, you push it back making it look like another branch is in front of it but if you want to make it look like it's in front then you don't, don't draw over it but rather you shade it and you draw highlights on it so the, the one that I'm working on now is a little bit darker and you can see that it's behind the other branch so that's another thing that adds to the realism this illusion of depth that we're trying to create by trying to make making it look like some of these branches are overlapping and that some of them are in front of the others so you have to use shading to create to create volume and depth and again as usual because the charcoal pencil is a little bit rough I use a tortillion to smooth things out to smooth the shape out and to blend it a little bit and then later if necessary I can always clean it a little bit with an eraser you can look at a reference photo when you're drawing trees and branches but the best thing to do is to make them flow naturally and to try to make them look organic so um, you we look at reference photos just to give us an idea about what they're supposed to look like but you won't necessarily be trying to draw every single branch as it is I mean that's nearly impossible and it's it would be very difficult and frustrating probably you can see how I'm making this branch look like it's in front of the others and this one is behind the other one so these are some of the things that we do to achieve the illusion of depth now I'm gonna add a few more branches here and there and just work on the texture a little bit I really need to be finishing this part soon just gonna add some more twigs with a black colored pencil and I'm gonna add some more foliage as well you can see me cleaning some of these things things up with uh, with an eraser and adding a few white spaces between those leaves I'm just gonna add a more add some more leaves here to the right and then work on them with a tutorial but I'm almost done here 
few more twigs here and there. And I think <coughs> this upper portion with the branches is almost finished. It's looking pretty good. Now we're going to draw the horizon or just suggest lightly where the horizon is supposed to be. I used a brush that was already dirty with some charcoal on it. And I'm going to suggest that there are some hills in the back, in the background. I'm using a brush with some charcoal on it and some and a tortillion. And now I'm going to draw some clouds. These clouds are a little bit darker against the lighter sky. But I'm using a tortillion and brush a little bit, but I can also draw a few lighter ones here. Erase them a little bit. I don't need to work on their shape too much, just a few elongated distant clouds like it's a sunset or something. And now <clears throat> I'm going to be focusing on the lower part of the drawing. We have these hills, so I'm going to put down some more value there. And then I'm going to add some more stuff in that lower part. I've shaded this part, so now my camera isn't positioned very well, but you can see that I'm using a brush to put down some charcoal and I'm trying to suggest that there, are, that there is a row of trees and bushes there. As you can see they're not very detailed because I want them I want them to be like that, they're in the distance. And I'm merely using charcoal to suggest their shape. Now I'm going to be drawing a tree which is a little bit closer and therefore it's going to be a little more detailed. First I'm using a medium charcoal pencil to draw the trunk and I'm just going to start drawing some of these branches or at least the ones that would be visible through the leaves. I'm drawing an interrupted shape here. It looks like a branch. I'm going to draw a few more of these and then I'm going to start adding the foliage. This tree that I'm working on now is going to be about the size uh, as those trees that I drew in my video called How to Draw Trees with, the, with Charcoal. In that video I drew several types of trees, ash, pine, fir, palm and some others and all of them uh, had a nice bit of texture and some detail and their structure and shape was clearly visible. So that's the technique that I use or the approach that I use for trees that are not very far away because we still want to have some detail on them. But those trees in the back that I drew uh, before this one uh, with a brush, they obviously have a lot less detail because they're in the distance and we can merely see their shape, not, not much in, in terms of detail. So, <clears throat> when you're drawing trees, obviously the, the ones that are in front, like the one uh, on the left with the, with the overhanging branches, they are going to be the most complex. They will have uh, the most complex structure with a lot of branches and a lot of leaves. Those that are somewhere in the middle, like the one that I'm drawing now, they will have a simplified structure with fewer branches but they are still visible and 
uh, I'm going to use scribbling to suggest the, that there are leaves. So I'm going to try to achieve the appearance of foliage using um, the texture that is produced by the scribbling motion of the charcoal pencil. And then I'm going to draw some highlights on it as well. But what I'm trying to say is that this tree, because it's a little bit further away, is going to be less complex than the one in the foreground. It's going to be less complex in terms of structure, in terms of texture, and also in terms of detail. Later I'm going to draw a few more trees that are further away in the distance and I'm going to show you how you can uh, draw uh, nice looking trees that are even simpler than this one. And by the way, if uh, you want to see my tutorial on how to draw trees with charcoal, I'm going to put the link in the description. That's a very nice video where you can see me drawing uh, several different types of trees. So now I'm going to finish the work on this tree, draw a little bit of shadow under it, soften that with a tortillion. Now it looks like a real tree with clusters of leaves and branches and everything. And I'm maybe going to add a few highlights to it later. Now I'm just refining the shapes of those bushes and trees in the back. They don't have to be too detailed, but like I said, they still need to look like trees. Their lower portions are a little bit darker. The upper parts are a little bit lighter. A few more bushes here. A few more clouds there. And it's already starting to look like a nice little scene. I didn't want it to be too complex, but obviously the branches in the foregrounds are pretty complex. They took a while to finish. Now I'm gonna draw some grass here. And as usual, I'm using a little bit longer strokes for the grass that is closer to us in the foreground. And I'm using uh, very short, short uh, strokes or no strokes at all uh, for the grass that is further behind in the back. And of course, I'm going to soften that with a brush a little bit, maybe. Uh, draw a few highlights here and there with an eraser like so and now <clears throat> I might add a few more trees here but these are going to be a little bit further away so now I'm going to show you what I mean when I say that the further away the tree is the less complex it's going to be in terms of structure and detail and texture. As you can see I'm not even using a pencil to draw them because I don't want them to be too dark so I just dip my tortillion into some charcoal and I draw a tree trunk with it, with it. and I'm drawing a very basic shape with a few branches that's all I need maybe just add a touch of charcoal pencil but not too much because like I said I don't want them to be very complex and then after that I can uh, dip my uh, brush into a little bit of charcoal and then try to draw with that. I draw tops of trees with my brush and you can see I'm just dabbing, I'm dabbing that brush here trying to make it look like the top of a tree so there you go you don't really need to make it a lot more complex than that I mean you can you can add a few branches here and there you can shade it a little bit more maybe even go in with an eraser and add a few highlights but you can see that it definitely looks like a tree even though it's obviously a lot simpler it's a simplified version of this tree in the middle
so gradually there will be a loss of detail as you move further into the distance. The same thing will be not just with the loss of detail but also with the loss of contrast. You can see how much more contrast there is in the foreground. I'm just using a brush to add a few more bushes here and there. I'm going to add another one here. This time I'm going to draw the tree trunk with a charcoal pencil, but just a few, just a few branches. But I'm going to do the rest with tortillion and the brush, just like we with the ones to the left. I dip my brush into some charcoal and just use the brush to draw the leaves on top of the tree and that's it maybe I can work on the structure of the tree a little bit more using my tortillion but like I said I don't want to use a pencil here because it would add too much texture and contrast so I'm just using a tortillion I want it nice and soft and slightly blurry A few more bushes here. I also forgot to draw some highlights on this tree, so I'm going to use my kneaded eraser to take a little bit off to make make it a bit a little bit lighter and to draw some of these uh, lighter clusters of leaves you can see that it's starting to look like a nice scene it's important to when you're drawing landscapes it's important to have uh, this illusion of depth so you need to have stuff in the foreground and in the distance as well But here specifically my goal was to show how to draw branches and to show the differences between the trees that are closer to you and those that are further in the distance. You can see how much more detail I've added to this tree. And it really looks realistic now. Although, of course, if it were closer to us, we would need to add even more detail. <clears throat> Maybe just a few branches here and there. And I also need to finish these my corners where I remove the tape a few more details just to fix some of these branches I wasn't really happy with the edges but it's almost done <clears throat> I'm going to sign it uh, here I don't want the signature to be too large, but I am going to make it a little bit darker. 
to make the drawing a little more balanced. Now let me just go over a few main points. Like I said, uh, when drawing branches, uh, you need to try to make them look organic and twisted. You also need to try to give them a little bit of texture and shade them properly. You need to use edges and value so that you can make it look like they are uh, overlapping, like some of them are in front of the others, so that you can create an illusion of depth. Also, when drawing trees, you need to remember that the ones that are in front will always be more complex and will have more detail and more texture uh, than the ones that are further away. As we draw those trees that are further away, our technique will also change because while I mostly used pencil for the things in the foreground, here I used um, blending tools because I just wanted to spread that charcoal around and merely suggest the shape and structure of the tree without really uh, drawing much detail. Well that's it for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.